Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your first Windows form applications in C Sharp on your Visual Studio. So let's get started and let's see how we can do it. So when you open Visual Studio, it will look like this. Here we are going to create a new uh, project. So just click on create a new project. And then here either you can search for Windows form application or you can just select these drop downs and select C sharp here and the platform will be desktop so you can uh, just select windows for example and then you can choose the all project type and the project type here is uh, desktop and from here you can see two uh, windows form app options so here we can select this option uh, which is windows form app using dotnet core so just select this option and then click on next on the next window you can give the name of your project i'm going to name my project as my first uh, project for example and you can see i don't like to give spaces in the project name so if possible uh, just write or give a project name without spaces right and then click on next and here the framework will be uh, .NET 6.0 or whatever is the latest version of .NET. In my case, it's .NET 6.0. Click on create. And this is going to create a Windows form application in C Sharp for you. So now you can see my project has been created. You will be able to see uh, this kind of solution on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, you can see this form 1.cs file. So this is the program file where you will write the program. Now how you can open the designer, you can see uh, this form 1.cs file, right? And when you just expand this, uh, you will be able to see C sharp form 1 designer also here, right? So when you double click on this form 1.cs file, it's also going to open the designer for you. So just wait for the designer to load for this form one. So now you can see this form one.cs design window is open. You can resize this uh, form one uh, window here. You can even give the title to it. Right now the uh, title here is form one. You can change the text of uh, this Let's say you want to change the text to uh, my app and then press enter. The title has been changed to my app, right? So you can change the text for your form by just changing the title right here. You have all the other options to change the appearance of your form or you can even change the font size uh, if you are using some fonts in your form or you can also change the behavior of your form so you can drag and drop some components in your form from the toolbox so if you don't see the toolbox just click on this toolbox option here which is going to load all the toolbox if you want to pin the toolbox uh, a window you can just click on pin and toolbox window will be pinned here so you can easily uh, drag and drop all the components from here so you can see uh, all windows form component uh, you can see buttons labels and other components i'm going to uh, use a button so i'm going to just drag and drop this button into my uh, form I can even use the label so I can drag and drop this label into my form and let me also use the text box so let me search for this text box and put it here okay so I can you can see drag and drop all these components here now for this label I can uh, change the label text from uh, this uh, properties window so the text here is label one i can just write uh, enter some text for example or enter your value because i want the user to enter something into the text box right so i'm going to just write enter 
some text here and then press enter and you can see this label shows that I will just drag this text box here also and now in the behavior you will be able to see uh, all these behavior options I want to change the anchor option here so you can see the anchor is right now top and left I can even uh, click on this option to anchor it to the right side so what it's going to do is let me just uh, resize it according to my uh, form and I can even uh, do the same for this label but I don't need uh, this for the label so what I it's going to do is when I anchor it to the right when I resize my window you can see the text box resizes right same I can do with the button also so this button text says button one I'm going to just change it to click uh, me for example and then press enter and you can see the button text is changed I can even change the anchor for it so right now it's uh, top left I can anchor it to the right and then I can just move it here and then just uh, resize my button until it shows uh, this kind of uh, line here right so now when I even resize my window it's going to uh, just resize according to the uh, width of my uh, frame right I can even anchor this button to the bottom so that it moves to the bottom let's see how can we do that so I can anchor it to the bottom and then what happens is when I just uh, make it bigger this button size becomes bigger for example right so this is how you can change the behavior so you need to play with all these options and see what you can do for example I can change the background color from here so here I have all these options uh, for changing the background color let's say I want to just choose this one and then you can see the background color of my uh, form has been changed and the background color of my button also has been changed so now let's write some code so what I want to do here is whenever some text is entered into uh, this text box and when I click the button I want to open a message box with the same text for example right so the main thing to note here is the name of this text box so when I select this text box the name of the text box is text box one so using this name I'm going to uh, use this text box text and show the text on the message box for example right so just copy this uh, name from here and then select your uh, click me button just double click on this button which is going to create a listener for your button right so the button name was button one you can even verify that uh, by going here and then you can see the name of this button you can see the name of the button is button one and the method which is created is button one click listener right so let me just write some code I'm going to create a string variable I'm going to uh, name it as text is equal to and I'm going to take the name of my text box right which was text box one so I'm going to just write dot text which is going to uh, give me the text whatever I write in the text box it's going to just take the text and assign it to the text variable right now I want to show this text into a message box so I can just uh, use a message box component just write message uh, box dot show and then I can uh, just write uh, 
u entered and then a semicolon space and then plus and then the text variable which is text okay once you are done just save your code and then you can run your code by just clicking on this uh, run icon so i'm going to run my code and hopefully everything works fine so you can see my code is uh, running when i resize you can see the button and the text box resizes according to the size when i move down the button size is uh, changed right now let me enter something so i'm going to just write uh, tom here and then i'm going to click on click me button and it says you entered tom right i can just write 34 here and i'm going to just click on click me and it says you entered 34 okay so it's going to open this message box every time when i click on the button and it's going to show whatever text i wrote here so this is the basic foundation of uh, how you can create a windows form application in visual studio using c sharp and create your forms and use your forms in uh, windows form application so i hope you have enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video